Hi, I'm Erin, and I'm talking about thinking about pedagogy when we're supporting our researchers who are doing reviews. So as the liaison librarian for reviews at Federation University, my role is to support the students and researchers conducting systematic scoping and other types of reviews. These are research methods that aim to collect and combine all the evidence on a topic, and they require complex, replicable literature searches. Over time, requests for individual consultations on reviews significantly increased. We also began to have lots of master's students who'd been assigned reviews as assessments, booking appointments, and more requests for classes on searching for reviews. This resulted in greatly increased demands on our time and workload. To balance the need to provide support while maintaining a sustainable workload, we created an online guide on reviews we could refer researchers to for self-directed learning. We also delivered webinars on common topics we were asked about, such as creating complex searches. While these were well received and used, we began to consider the way adults learn best. Good pedagogy is important for student engagement and learning, and researchers are learners too. So we redesigned the way we support researchers doing reviews. We focused on using a flipped classroom, active learning, and developing a collaborative learning community. To do this, we developed an open education resource, or OER, on scoping and systematic reviews that included videos and activities and a series of online workshops that focused on applying the skills of complex searching rather than passively receiving information. In a flipped class, students look at contexts such as readings or videos before the class. This is so class time can be spent on problem solving, applying the content and collaborating. They can help improve engagement and knowledge retention, resulting in deeper learning. They can also lead to knowledge transfer, where skills learnt in one context are able to be applied to another. We asked the workshop participants to read the relevant section of the OER, watch the videos and do the activities before attending the workshops. We did this because explaining the systematic search process takes a long time. The flipped class meant we could use the time in the workshops for hands-on practice of the content rather than information delivery. The researchers could get feedback and address gaps in their knowledge immediately. They were also able to go back to the online content as required for revision. Active learning aims to support students to apply learning and concepts in a real world context. It asks them to do something, not just passively listen to information. We used active learning in the OER as we created activities to reinforce the content and allow for application of the literature searching skills. Most of the time in the workshops was spent on hands-on group activities, so the researchers could apply and use the skills and knowledge already learned from the online content. This helped the researchers learn how to search in practice. We designed the OER and workshops this way, so they could apply their learning in a practical way, making connections between the activities and their own review. It increased engagement and allowed us to extend and build on what was learnt from the OER. Learning communities solve problems collaboratively and share knowledge to build collective understanding. We tried to build this community in the workshops by running activities in breakout rooms where participants work together. They were then brought back into the main room for discussion around problems encountered, how they were solved and sharing approaches. The librarian's role was to facilitate researchers learning from each other. At the end of the workshops, researchers discussed issues in their own reviews with the librarians encouraging participants to share ideas and learn from each other. This was done so researchers could share experiences and understanding. They were from different disciplines and had differing experience levels with reviews, so discussions allowed them to hear the perspectives and ideas of others to enhance their learning. We received really positive feedback about the workshops and the OER. People said the flipped class, activities and group tasks helped them learn. We've reflected on what could be improved on, such as areas people found particularly challenging, like using subject headings and translating searches to work in different databases. Now we're thinking about how to help researchers better understand these difficult concepts by looking at what other institutions have done to teach these. We're also reflecting on how to evaluate the actual learning of researchers. While our feedback survey indicates that participants found the workshops engaging and useful, this only tells us their perceptions, not how, the, uh, how they apply the learning in their own searching skills. If we can find a suitable method to evaluate participants' learning, we might be conducting some research about this in the future. Thank you.